Scientists have investigated the cause of the so-called Gulf War Syndrome, a collection of chronic health problems that affected more than a quarter of the coalition troops deployed during the first Gulf War in 1991. Well, now a new study by researchers in Texas indicate the nerve gas sarin is to blame. Caroline Hawley has this special report. The war to dislodge Iraq from neighbouring Kuwait was short, but it's been described as the most toxic in history, and it's had devastating long-term consequences for many of the soldiers who served, though for 30 years, no one knew exactly why. Kerry Fuller was one of them, a fit 26-year-old at the time of the war. Now it's a battle for him just to get out of bed. I was getting illness after illness, breathing problems, say, chronic fatigue, run down all the time. And when I questioned whether it could be anything to do with my service in the Gulf or what we were exposed to, the military line was, you're talking nonsense, there's no evidence, two paracetamol, crack on. Kerry suffers excruciating joint and muscle pain. At night, he says he wakes the whole house screaming. The new research blames health problems like his on the nerve agent sarin that was released into the air when Saddam Hussein's chemical weapons caches were bombed. The scientists involved say it's a breakthrough which vindicates the veterans. But the ones who became ill, our new study shows, are the ones that have the weak form of a gene that normally protects you from nerve gas. And so the people with the strong form of the gene uh, did, most of them did not get ill. And you say that definitively now, no kind of ifs, no buts. This is the end of That's the mystery correct. as far as you're concerned. Due to all the, the controversy over the many studies that have done, been to, done so far, uh, all of which had different defects of one type or another, we designed this study over a number of years to be the definitive study to answer all of the criticisms of studies in the past so that we would get it just right. We hope that what our findings will do will lead to uh, a, a definitive treatment for this disease that would uh, relieve them of some of these symptoms. Kerry Fuller has not only a huge array of symptoms, including memory problems, but also an arsenal of medication to help with them. There's the, the, the new lot. Yeah. yeah. His daughter Rebecca has to go to doctor's appointments with him because he struggles to process the information he's given. He now wants the Ministry of Defence to act on the American findings. I just hope they take it seriously and, and do the right thing and understand it. For, for, for most of us, it isn't about money. It's about being able to access the right medical treatment. It's not a lot to ask um, for what we did. The MOD says it's indebted to all those who served, like Kerry, and that it's already sponsored what it calls significant research. But he wants tangible help and fears that the latest study will simply be swept under the carpet. Caroline Hawley, BBC News.